is going on guys? Quarantine coming at you with another little Lego build review. So how you guys doing with us? So today we're doing another Lego Marvel superhero set review and on the on the Crow show today. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys know it, you love it. I'm wearing the hat for it. The number one Marvel in the world has finally hit over a billion dollars in the box office. And now I finally have obtained the last Black Panther Lego set, and that is the Royal Talon Fighter Attack. This set I've been wanting to get for a while ever since I got the mindset, so it's awesome that I finally got it. We're gonna we're gonna fucking build it. We're gonna have a good time with it, and then yeah, let's just get started. Let's start building. Well, there it is, guys, the Black Panther Royal Talon Fighter Attack set. Um, this video probably got a little bit delayed. If, you, if it looks different, it's because after being moved in and stuff like that, um, finally got everything situated, so all these guys are on the side here for my uh, stop-motion video that I'm be making. But there it is. The set is completely done. Um, yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get right into the minifigures. All right, off, we got the Nikea figure for the Black Panther Talon Fighter set. Now, she's pretty cool. I never expected her to actually make an appearance as a figure in LEGO at all, but they did a pretty damn good job with the detailing on her. Chest piece looks really good, looks very similar to the one in the movie. Uh, they got other ones like that in here as well. Um, I like her back detailing as well. Her little ring blades, just like in the movie, are pretty cool, but I wish they had done more with the ring blades, like made them a little blue on the inside or something like that. But you know what? That's okay. I can get over that, no problem. So I soon realized that both these, I fucked up these figures when I built them. She had his pants and he had her pants, so I fixed that a little bit, but yeah, regardless. Now we get into the Mark 1 Killmonger before he gets his Killmonger suit. This one's pretty cool. I enjoy this, this, uh, this figure very much. Due to the fact it really shows off the detailing and the mask that he gets from the museum when he's making a heist to get into Wakanda. Uh, this is a really good figure overall. His detailing on his chest is really cool. Looks exactly like the, uh, the outfit he wore in the movie. 
I like the back texture as well. It's very well detailed. It looks exactly like a tactical vest, just like in the movie. The RPG is a pretty good touch, but I wish they had given him a rifle on this set as well, instead of the RPG, because he didn't have an RPG. He had a grenade launcher M16, but you know, that's okay. That's fine as well. And then we got Claw, who's uh, who made an appearance in this movie as well. Since Age of Ultron, we haven't seen him since. All we know is that his arm got cut off by Ultron, and ever since then, he's had a robot hand. So now we go ahead and have the figure as well. I love the fact that they gave him his suit and his little like um, his little dress vest and his necklace and the hair is really good, nice detail on his chest. Gave him a little robotic arm with a little lightning bolt coming out of it. Back looks like pretty simple of a really nice uh, vest and whatnot. So yeah, that's the that's the um, claw uh, figure. And last but not least, we have the T'Challa Black Panther figure, the Mark II Black Panther suit. Um, I wish, like, other, other than the detailing on the front and the back, which is really well done, honestly, in my opinion, uh, I wish they had done more with the face, because I, I kind of miss the white eyes in the face, but, you know, I'm, 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 that's okay, because I know that he can have that ability now to show his actual eyes instead of using, you know, the white eyes, um, like I said, the back's no really, it's not really special, just a basic detail on the back, but it's necessary. Now, when I said that I wish that they would uh, make them just like the last ones that they had of Black Panther for the Civil War sets, which I do have right here, um, you can tell that, you know, white eyes would be necessary for this. But, you know, they didn't, but that's and that's completely fine. But I wish they had done more to the Mark II suit figure than what they did. Because then you go to the Mark II figure of, this, of the Mark II set um, for the uh, Killmonger versus uh, Black Panther uh, mindset, showing off his... Uh, He's pretty much his kinetic energy being built up and being ready to use in combat. It's blue um, and not purple, which is really weird. But the thing is, like, they went through more detail with this Black Panther figure than this one, which is very confusing considering I really wanted something like this to go into this one. But you know what? That's fine, too. It's just like, hey, I know he can do this one, but I really wish they had done it more with like this one did. So that's okay. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the, into the uh, Talon ship. This thing took way longer than the uh, Milano uh, because there was so much detailing that had to be put into this thing. The scales right here were the really more important parts, the stickers being everywhere, and certain pieces having to be put on every single part of the ship just to make it look more detailing, to look at, make it look more advanced compared to anything else that's been used on Earth. But this, honestly, is probably the most sturdiest Lego I have ever made. Like, literally, it's so sturdy. I've dropped it like seven times and it hasn't broken one thing off because of how well we put together it is. And if you want to put any of these characters in here, um, you can just simply pop this off. And then if you want to put it back down, put it back down. And then they have like the cool thing about this one is that if you don't if you don't like being one of those people that has to hold it like this, they ended up making these landing gears that help you pinch on it so that way you don't have to hold it like you would like I just showed you. You can either put them down and hold them like that, or you can just leave them all the way up, and you can just hold it like that. So that way it's much more easier if you're a kid and you just like playing with Legos. You can just hold it like that and just fly it around. And yeah, it's pretty cool. There it is, you guys. The Black Panther uh, Royal Talon Fighter Attack set of Black Panther. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you like these videos that I make every day. Um, I'll be coming up with more very soon, and you guys will be able to see those very soon as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.